I'm Sally French, the drone girl, and I'm here at Wings Drone Delivery Facility. I'm about to get my first drone delivery. Come with me on a tour, and then let's go ahead and see what we got. Wing is one of the world's largest drone delivery companies. It's done more than 350,000 commercial drone deliveries across three continents. Some of its most robust operations entail partnerships with Walmart out of a handful of stores around the Dallas-Fort Worth metro area. I headed to a Walmart in Fort Worth to check it out for myself. So this right here is called the Nest. It's where drones take off, land, get loaded, and recharge. It's in the parking lot of a giant Walmart store. Now, I was eager to get a drone delivery of my own, but first I wanted to understand the aircraft itself. The team at Wing let me get up close and personal with the drones. So these are the contact charger points. So whenever it lands, it charges itself without any human um, involvement. You have the 12 um, um, vertical propellers, so that's how it takes off. It takes off vertically and then it hovers down to the customer's house. And then you have four forward propellers. And then if you look back here at the tail, um, this is the um, ADSB antenna. In the Dallas area, we're in what's called the Mode C Vail airspace. So almost everything that's operating all traditional aviation is required to be transmitting its location via ADSB. Basically, they're transmitting out. Our drones are listening in for those signals and so um, they're able to know where other aircraft are. These drones don't just know where other wing drones are, but they know where other non-wing drones are too. That includes competing delivery drones from companies like Zipline and Mana. And with that, I was itching to place my first drone delivery order. I'm about to place my first drone delivery order. We're gonna deliver it pretty close by just because I don't wanna walk that far. So we're gonna send it to this spot on the app. All right, let's place that order. All right, we're waiting for the order to be packed. It says it'll arrive at 10.25. It's 10.14 now, so we have about 10 minutes to go. During those 10 minutes, a Walmart employee grabbed the actual item needed from the store shelves and loaded it into one of these handy boxes. Then they brought it out to the nest where it could be loaded onto the drone. As of now, the drones will actually fly as far as 12 miles round trip. Yes, that means they're flying well outside of the operator's line of sight, which is possible through a coveted FAA approval. For practical reasons of shooting this video though, I set my order pretty close by. We're about a minute and 35 seconds out from our first drone delivery. The drones themselves fly 65 miles per hour, so I quickly ran over to my pickup spot. For now, drones can deliver a maximum weight of 2.5 pounds. A Wing employee told me that one of the most popular orders is limes. Presumably, customers are making margaritas and forget a critical ingredient. That's a use case for drone delivery known for its speediness and ability to bring small items comes in handy. I hear my drone coming. It's supposed to arrive right here. Let's see how it does. The drones don't actually land, which is a safety feature in keeping them away from people. They just slowly drop down the orders. Then they fly back to their nest to recharge. Are you ready for it? My first item ever delivered via drone. Powerade for this hot Texas heat. Now, I wanted to give this delivery thing a few more test runs. I tried to really test it with what I thought would be a trickier order. I want something that's glass to see if it survives a trip, so we're gonna go for some Alfredo pasto sauce. Let's do it. 182 for this item. Once again, I sent it to that same field. Sorry, I didn't have a real backyard in Texas to ship it to. Let's see how it arrives. It comes in this custom packaging. And just inside, there we go, my Alfredo sauce. All in all, I had a great drone delivery experience. It worked super well from the ordering to the communication with customers during transit to the delivery. That said, the Fort Worth Walmart store was actually pretty busy when I made my drone delivery jaunt, which was on a Friday morning. Yet I only saw a couple actual drone delivery orders placed in the hour. I suspect most people still want to shop in bigger quantities than what a drone can deliver. After all, the drones are good at bringing a few small items, but while that's good if you want one Powerade now, you can't get a whole case delivered via drone. That said, I'm excited to see this operation grow, and growing it is. Initial flights using UTM services began in August 2024, and more authorizations are coming to the Dallas area soon. This is an essential step in scaling the drone delivery industry, and it's happening for the first time in Texas. In fact, 75% of the Dallas-Fort Worth metro area will have access to drone delivery by the end of 2024 via Walmart and partner vendors including Wing and Zipline. What do you think about drone delivery? Tell me in the comments!